Hello everybody and welcome again to a tutorial this time about this fast line from Maraca, Orlando Valle. Uh, it's called Presentación. The tune is a very aggressive uh, Latin jazz tune which combines a lot of pentatonic scales and chromatism to make it interesting. So we'll take it phrase by phrase Analyze, analyze the fingering. We're gonna take it slow and we're gonna uh, work out some of the best fingerings that we can do. Maybe yours are different than mine, but I'll give you my fingerings and we'll see and we'll try to keep those fingerings because that's the way you're gonna be able to play this at this tempo. So what I do is I, I divide it by phrases or mi mi micro phrases, which is um, the first one is uh, <laughs> That, that's a pentatonic basically so that's not too hard that's uh, the beginning don't underestimate you still have to make this one because this is the beginning but it's not that hard now the second phrase that I have you know the way I divide it is one two three um. so to me that's the second phrase and that's the hardest, you know, so you're going to practice that more. And and then the third one would be for me. That would be the, the third phrase. And the last one, which is again kind of pentatonic, so it's easier. So you see, all you have to do is divide it and uh, learn each piece and then put them together. And the hardest part we're gonna practice more. So I'll give you some fingerings now uh, that I think uh, I'm gonna bring the camera close by and teach you some of the fingerings that I that I that I've done. Take it slow now. I'm gonna do the first part. It's uh, all pretty much pentatonic until it gets to that E natural. So we just do one four one four one. Four. I use open string here. The G. Then when you go go to here or yeah you don't want to do this yeah again open D then the next part you have to open your hand a little bit um, there's many ways to do this but I think it's better to do the two three four and then three four uh, again two three four one you gotta learn how to play more than one note with one finger also sometimes it's uh, I don't know if you can see it here it's gonna be hard but it's feeling so you're basically playing with this one note and the other note is here. So you're gonna go to, with the four here, stretch, and then again stretch and start the next. I'm 
using a lot of open strings because it's easier because you're gonna play fast so and then again then again the fourths here the E so you gotta come to that E flat here's another spot that you be better if you play both um, both strings with the same fingering remember after that E when you go to that E flat do it with the with the knuckle here this part and remember the the right hand also has uh, fingerings the last very last phrase you can do that or you could do open string there uh, and then get to get ready for the groove which is gonna be Remember to start Start with the same finger always so you can uh, remember it's gonna be a lot easier to do both fingers the left and the right hand. Yours, like I said, could be different. But this work. So now that we have the tune, we are going to um, increase the tempo slowly until we can play it as as the, the tempo of the, the video. This video is on YouTube, I'll, I'll link it underneath. Remember to play fast, you have to be relaxed. So you start with relaxing your shoulders and your arms and, and your hands and, and, and keep the movement uh, very uh, sh uh, small. You know, don't, don't, some bass players do a lot of this. Uh, to play fast, you, you know, you can do that on the upright to get volume and stuff, but you cannot do that on the electric bass if you want to play fast. So if you want to do this line, uh, just just as, sh as short as little move as little as possible. So there's always uh, speed bumps in any any piece that we study. Any um, there's always a part that you go like, "Oop, what is that?" You know. To me, it's this one. Uh, you have to analyze those shapes and get used to them and um, analyze them according to um, what are the, I mean, is it a fourth uh, passage? Is that a triad there? There's an A flat triad right there. And go back to the, to the the fourths and um, remember to start with the fourth finger there and once you get used to those shapes um, see where is that speed bump go back practice that part the practice the, the part that I practice the most is this because it's kind of hard. So when you're practicing, when you finally got it and you understand it, you know the fingerings, you have everything, uh, go back and practice it at a faster tempo and don't worry if you make a little mistake here and there, you know, if it's not clean perfectly. Because uh, sometimes even life, these parts are not gonna be completely clean, but the the main point is that you don't get lost you don't stop and, and and you know so don't worry too much about a small mistake if you make a big mistake if you can't uh, remember something go back and practice it slowly i would practice it like So now that you know it, go to the gig, play it with conviction, trust yourself, uh, because the 
part of this uh, playing fast and all that is also mental. You have to uh, trust yourself on that. So like, subscribe and donate if you want to. The next video is going to be about soloing on this tune, so which is like a blues. So basically we're going to explore some uh, alternatives that we can use and some substitutions that I use that uh, to me they uh, you know work and sound interesting and how to sound we'll get it we'll get to that on the next video so see you next time